Good evening, guys. It's your good friend, the Voice of Dog, here on January 1st, 2018, with our first stream of the year. We're going to finish up Earthbound tonight. We'd left off in a kind of weird place. We, we did everything we were told to do by the game. We collected all of our sanctuary locations. We assembled a melody, and we ended up... Seven years of subscriptions. Nice, thanks, Constantinople. We ended up in our mind. Full-on brain spirit journey going on here. We've been stripped of our party. We have the items we were carrying when we completed the soundstone. Still have it here, just as a reminder. Come on in, it's your brain. I get the feeling the color palette tried to shift, but it ended up rolling the same thing. Also, people we've defeated here. Kind of wish the sentient pile of barf were not in our mind. Can you leave? Can we evict you? How do you get that process going? Sorry, Spirit Journey. Can't play with you right now. Well, the way you described it, I'm kind of afraid now, but I don't think anything's gonna happen. What's television like in our brain? Blank? That's a shame. I kind of wish we could watch TV in our mind. These are all our childhood friends? Look, it's all, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's John and, and Brandon. And, and, and Mimi, and, oh, I know you. Yeah, classic picky. And, uh, Nene. And that guy I just remember as a monkey. And that kid who always wore that hat. What a weird kid. I wonder if this is the the what what Juan imagines Pokey like, or what perspective of this are we seeing here exactly? <laughs> I'll always remember you, Snowman. Never forgot that Snowman. Rest in peace, Buzz Buzz. Fortunately, we have the embodiment of our courage with us. In addition to us, so that's like twice the amount of courage, I think. I haven't exactly worked out the math or if there's some, you know, loss of courage in the transfer. Also, there's a neat tune that plays when you have Flying Man with you. Going there may hurt you. It may really hurt to go here. Uh, this level can be kind of rough. Just a bit.
Mm-hmm. Yep, let's let's start this off right. Yep. Alright, that's that's pretty good. The loaded dice will just continuously summon help. And a, a wide variety of help. I brought the Franklin badge here for a reason, for exactly this. Well, just because there is still... You still have to worry about lightning attacks in Magic Hint. Hello. Oh. Good, we'll, t we'll take another one of those. Also, hello. Curl Staghorn, thanks for the sub with Twitch Prime. Hey, me. For some reason, we have a version of us that just gives us our... Uh, a baseball cap. It's the regular baseball cap. Yeah. I'm going to throw your baseball cap into my mind ocean. There. It's in there now. Is there actually a thing for putting it on? <laughs> I did not know. <laughs> what does it actually do? Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Uh, this is why I kept it. Okay. It's on. My defense is now 80 less. Oh, it doesn't do anything. You guys misled me. Goodbye, baseball cap. Back into the ocean with you. Yeah, I'm gonna probably need that defense, honestly. Unless I just don't run into encounters. Hmm. Hmm. That's a bad first round. <laughs> if only you would put the eyeballs in front where you should have. Oh, right, I should probably not break the sphere right now. Flying Man, like many allies in the game, well, actually, this is the only ally in the game kind of like it, if, unless you count the, uh, the, whatchamacallits, the teddy bears. They have an arbitrary amount of HP and will eventually die. Speaking of which... Yeah, Juan, please start hitting our targets. Fire is not going to kill us, fortunately. Also, yeah, half of our courage has died. I am half as courageous now, but I gained a level. Oh, I can hear the game kind of chugging. God, there's a lot of question marks over there. I am only finding these guys so far. <laughs> I did not know you could summon those guys. Kind of probably wish you hadn't, huh?
This hasn't gotten totally out of control yet. With any of these encounters. Hmm, that's what I did not want to see. Yeah. Yeah. No, get out of here. Nice. Carefree bomb, a dangerous enemy. Carefree bomb that doesn't suicide on you. It throws other bombs. I'm glad this guy gets his own sprite on screen. On the world map. Haven't seen any of those question marks yet. Mind bat. This one isn't like some super inaccurate one, right? No, it's a regular bat. Oh no! Escalation, also. <laughs> ah, just shift them over a bit and then put the uncontrollable sphere behind it and you'll have a round. We just need a nose. Almost have. Okay, good. Didn't just drop dead. taking more damage from this poison than these enemies. Okay, there we go. Taking a lot of damage here. Mostly because I couldn't just, you know, clinch the fight. You know what it just occurred to me is that I never went to the shop in Magic Hint. Totally forgot to check out the shop. Oh well. There's really no guarantee that I'll make it through this on my first try anyway. Although, I am pretty well prepared. Here's an encounter. Uh, I'm not worried about these guys. I'm really just worried about this guy. These guys are trying to bombard us with psychic powers. Oh boy, that's a death kill. Death kill. Yeah, that's what I meant. Alright, come on, come on. Oh, 
All right, now they can concentrate. So please don't murder me. Remaining molecule. That's the one thing you cannot hit me with. Good job. Excellent job, Mr. Molecule. I guess if you're stuck here at this part of the game, you can probably farm these guys. Oh, jeez. Oh, come on! You just warped behind me. Oh, that's bad. That's not good at all. One of you was not actually a molecule. Thought, kind of figured you were all just molecules. There was a bomb. There, there was a bomb made out of shapes hidden in there. I realize all of you guys could potentially be bombs made out of shapes. And goodbye. The, <laughs> the way they teleport around is really disorienting to me. Oh god, of course. It's like 12 of you here. Oh god. Oh god. I have plenty of time, but still. Oh shit, I don't have a lot of time. Please die. Okay. Plenty of time. Nothing is wrong. Everything is fine. We're good. We have made it to the center of, of our mind ocean. We are here. Well, there's a Kraken. Yeah, you you do that. You keep doing that. Also that. Nice. Seventy-eight thousand experience for that fight. Really, I don't think Kraken can actually beat me. He's got a flame attack, which I can guard against. Oh, he can do that. That could potentially mess me up. Yeah, I'm not afraid of these guys. Okay, there you go. There's your one attack. <laughs> Finally. Also, thank you for the follow.
Well. Vaughn's Nightmare. So uh, I should mention right now that uh, Juan does not have a way to defend against PSI attacks. He has our powers. He has fluff. Can also heal himself. I have not hit him yet. Also, that's that's Omega. Yeah, that's a ton of damage. That's more mortal damage. All right. He really dodges a lot, doesn't he? There it is again. There, that's that's death. Okay, I just dodged that one. Lucky. I'll take it. Nice smash. I don't know, but the statue is just really hard to hit. Also, yeah, just dodge Ultima. Good job. We both have the same strategy for this fight, it seems, except he's spamming some of his very expensive spells. Yeah, you keep doing that. I think the Glorious Light can straight up kill you. I don't remember exactly what it does. Ah. Uh, just, let me just punch myself in the face a few times. Hang on, guys. Stop that. Quit it. death and that's death <laughs> and that's death and we're good <laughs> are you sensing a theme in this fight this is kind of how it's going to go for a while Death. Oh. Uh, okay, good. So, how you guys doing tonight? I'm doing pretty good. Fighting a statue that my brain made up. HP still rising after taking after taking damage. Oh, that's a that's a poor smash. Good, finally got rid of his shield. Ugh. Bye. 
Goodbye, you're dead. You're out of all your points. <laughs> I got rid of all of your points. I think that means I won. There's never really any mention in-game of what the Apple of Enlightenment really is, is there? I don't really think... They mention it a few times, but that's about it. That's all you get from it. Time for numbers to go up. Gain 200,000 experience. Maximum psychic points went up by 338. That's a number. Also teleport beta. The soundstone is gone. Mind journey. That's an automatic teleport. I can't take credit for that one. Pretty skillful, though, I have to say. Good teleport. Oh, man. Juan. Juan, you are very strong now. 706 hit points. 530 psychic points. It's a lot of points. I do what I say. Cross heart. New things, difficult things from now.
the phase distorter. We've heard Apple Kid talking about this from time to time. Instantaneous travel through space and time. Unfortunately, he just has a prototype, and he can only travel to different points in the same time period. But it has a search function. Breathe is so good, agreed. That's cool, everyone's friends. Wait. Oh no, they stole the prototype. So then what is this? What is this machine here? And why does it cover us all in soot? Maybe. We may have seen a meteorite at some point in this game. Oh. Our hometown has been invaded, then, is what you're saying. been advised to check the shops. Eureka! <laughs> Ampelion, thanks for the host. This stuff all seems pretty standard. That's old stuff. Hmm. What is piggy jelly? Morbidly curious. It tastes all right. Oh, so it's his HP. Yeah, actually, that's a good question. Hey, Mom, did you get invaded by aliens? Anytime recently. No? Also, I'm glad we made another $31,000 just by, you know, fighting things in our brain. So we're good on pendants, I guess, then, aren't we? The Horn of Life! Might as well grab one of them. You think. See, can we get away with this? Yeah. Look at that great turning radius. Everything is locked up. No one is coming out of their homes. Even the library is closed. 
Where do I go if I want a town map? Oh, we have contact. We have the presence of some alien life form here. Yep, we got we got mechanical octopus and that thing. Whatever that is. It's evil and it's an eye. Oh no. Well, I guess that's good. That's also good. Wow, way to not die, Apollo. Don't do that again. No. Okay, good. All right. Finish him? Thank you. Shield Omega. I'll have to check what that one is exactly. Psychic power shield, so that's a reflect shield. Interesting. Hi, Mom. You know, I called earlier. You failed to mention the invasion that occurred. Thought you might want to fill me in on that. You know the answer to that. Yes. All right, then. One more time to the top of the hill for the meteorite. Uh, uh, hang on. Maybe not. Maybe not right this second. How about now? Maybe, maybe now. Yeah. They're still just right there waiting for us. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. This is gonna be brutal. You know what? This may be, may be my only chance to show this off. I, I am responding with maximum force here for a reason. There it is. Whoops, sorry. Whoops, sorry. Oh, it's not gonna hit the other ones, okay. It only goes back to the attacker. So there's really never a reason to use that, is there? 
Well, there you go. I showed off Shield Omega. Yeah, it goes to Starman. Kind of a kind of a problem. These guys less so. Wonder if I can get some thunder in there. How about the other one? How about the other one? Thank you. Oh, constantly taking very heavy damage. Nice. I think Octobots can still seal things. Sounds like a thing they could do. Mm. Well, goodbye, I. No, oh, my burger! My double burg! That guy was burgin' hard, and we're all gonna suffer the consequences. If he doesn't get a burg in him right this second. Do you have my burg? Y you guys, stop. Please. Stop that. Guy, you don't even drop it after I kill you. you. At least have the courtesy to not, you know, take a thing from me and immediately jam it into your mouth. Well, here we are again. I wonder if this will do anything. Oh right. I need her to <laughs> I need her to prevent us from freaking dying immediately. Oh no! Oh no! Threw the bazooka in the wrong direction. Nice! Nice! God, I was really, really rolling the dice on that. God, can I so let's just solve all the problems at once. Ugh. Why does that go through shields, is what I want to know. Alright, we'll, we'll take another chance here. Also, mirror. <laughs> Rango cannot turn it to Bolo. He tried. 
Oh. God, what a mess. We're so close. We just gotta get up the hill and take a piece of that meteorite. We're right there. Also, I guess I could spare a moment to... There we go. Meteorite. Mr. Exaggerate is not opening his door, which is probably wise. Well, goodbye on it. Now we still have the magic and bat. It did not disappear. So I guess I can get rid of the ultimate bat. Pretty good on items, honestly. Are we missing something to... Yeah, there we go. The baddest beam. Okay. It's so bad. You shouldn't throw it away. It's so bad. Don't throw it away. It's bad. One last S Cargo Express, I guess. be needing this. One more trip to the store, too. And one more trip to the ATM, which is... Man, this can't even deposit that much. We have too much money. We're too rich. We have all the money. Hey, you're going to carry all the jelly.
Well, I guess that about does it. It's time to step into the machine, which will take us to Gigas so we can fight the alien overlord and, y you know, save the world. That's where this game's going, right? Version 2 has two new features. Repair your functions. Also, it can save your game. It would be for the best. So it doesn't actually time travel yet, but it does tell you where enemies are. I guess that's a thing. Let's see what it does. Let's see... Ah, okay. Yes, we are ready. By the way, in, in case you weren't listening to me earlier... Thanks. We were here briefly, in the Lost Underworld. Last power. Starstorm Omega. Yeah, that seems like an attack. It's pretty expensive. Costs about a third of his MP. Oh, it's the Saturn that was kidnapped. One more Horn of Life. Why not? Well, that was quick. See, Mr. Saturn just knows science. They have to be aliens. They have to know all of this stuff. What's that? Time machine? Oh, yeah. Yeah, hang on. Let me just go get my, uh, my recipe book for time machine. Yeah. These guys have figured out everything about life and time travel and space. That's my theory. They already know. You must warp to the past and fight, but... Right, with this machine. Send us to the past. I'll see what the holdup is. Let's just go to the past already. Dr. Andonauts is getting hesitant. Doctor, what are you hiding from us? Life is demolished in the process of time travel.
life is demolished in the time travel process. Therefore, I have to cut out your brain, put it into a robot, and then send that to the past. Well, Dr. Andonauts is doing some spiritual mumbo-jumbo here. The transfer means that your spirit will go with the robot while your body is left behind. So I guess your brains aren't actually in the robot. I think that's what they're getting at. I mean... Yeah, I guess. All right, well, time to start examining those skulls. Gonna have to crack all of them open. Yep. That muted drill sound in the background that starts up near the end always gets me. The flashes are when it's entering your brain. Well, we're robots, so there's definitely no turning back, I guess you could say. No. Okay, Jorge, you do it. What? I said yes. Oh, I hit the wrong button. I'm really glad that they kept the cap, otherwise we wouldn't be able to tell each other apart. Nope. Oh, hang on. I don't want to go that way. Here we are in the final dungeon. It's got a really good sound to it. It's got a real cool look to it. We're supposedly way in the past? I'm not sure how that pans out exactly. I haven't seen one of you guys in a while. Rango, you're gonna hang on to your points. We brought food, but it was all dead already, so it works. Hmm. Yeah, how about... no. Remember, we're trying to preserve our points as best as possible before the fight. So, stuff like this... Pretty opportune.
Okay. Ultimate Octobot. The ultimate in Octobots. That's pretty expensive, actually. Well, Paulo can still cast PSI. Jorge can still use... Yeah, this is... this is fine. We're good. Stop that. Stop, please. Okay, I'm gonna have to cure all that. Yep, some of us do not have articulation right now. I cannot feel my robot limbs. What does it work on? Paralysis, as expensive to cure as death. <laughs> why did the doctor program crying into... Why, why did he program us to cry? He wanted you, yeah, he wanted you to retain your emotions so that you could use them against Gigas. You have to feel pain, otherwise it, it will, it'll be like the humans didn't actually make the journey to the end of, you know, time and space or wherever the hell we ended up here. In the past. I know we're supposed to be very much in the past. I'm surprised we're only seeing one encounter here. Huh. Wool does not catch on fire somehow. Yeah, you know, Orange Kid is doing that experiment to put a soul into a boiled egg so he can make it cry. <laughs> I think that's what his experiment was about. Free caramel. Hmm. All right, here we go. Here's an encounter for you. One of these enemies is going to immediately crush you, and the other will uh, uh, constantly heal themselves. Nice. Nice. by yourself.
yet another bat. Yeah, the ancient bat. The bat of 10,000 years. The baseball bat from beyond baseball. Before baseball had a name. Before it was just stickball. Oh, hello. There's a final star, man. I did get the first hit on them, though, so... Let's go for it. Whoops, he's got a shield. My bad. My bad. That was dumb. Hopefully before he gets some hits in. Okay, good. I know he doesn't have that much HP. Oh, hello. Ultra Kraken. Yeah, just don't move this round. Don't do anything. Bionic Kraken has a chance to drop, a very low chance to drop the best bat in the game, which I don't think I'll be getting. I don't think it's going to be happening anytime soon. This looks cramped. This looks a little crowded. That looks a little, yeah. Oh my god. One more. <laughs> One more roll. Screw it. <laughs> you know what? I'll take it. Yeah, I absolutely will take it because... Uh, yes! Just gonna leapfrog my way up these enemies. Oh no! I don't think I'll be doing this fight. Well, I could. No. No, I won't. <laughs> How about you guys? You're gonna clog everything in here? Gonna claw? Oh, 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 my. Oh, boy. That's not a fight. I'm sorry, game. That's a no. Whew. <laughs> A series of no encounters. Do I have any bottles of water? I do. Welcome to the meat tube room. There's tubes. All made out of meat. Strange, eerie breathing sounds in the distance. 
Thanks for the follow. Pokey assists only the strong and able. Thanks for the follow. Pokey has followed Gigas' directions and is here. With him. Side by side. His very strong and powerful business partner. He has a little bit of a war machine looking thing here. Looks kind of kind of scary. Um, we're not going to hit Gigas because we can't do anything to Gigas at the moment. We are going to, however, defend ourselves. Right. Do want to freeze him. Got ahead of me, I see. Anything we do to Gigas is going to bounce off of him. We cannot actually hurt him. Also, I like that Pokey is still wearing his nice fancy suit. Or at least, is still wearing the same suit. Why did you hit Gigas? Okay, you hit both. I guess I'll accept that. Alright, we'll fix that. Oh. Pokey interjects to let us know, you're not looking at Gigas, you're just looking at, at his, at his shell, at his hat, and his nice shiny hat. But if you saw him, you'd be too scared to fight. Do you want me to, to push the button? Do you want to see it? to say, even as a kid doing this fight, it's a pretty good sense of uh, being completely 
desperate and directionless and having no idea what the hell to do against an entity that you cannot accurately comprehend. Uh, what you're really supposed to do, I think, is just cause enough damage, which we will, we will get to in just a moment. Yeah, in fact, we're going to start this off by a little, little, little bit of Star Storm. Thanks for the follow. There it is. Is that a full heal? It would have been faster if it was a full heal. I think it might be. So Gigas is going to start throwing something at us. He's going to start... We cannot accurately grasp the concept of how he is hurting us. But Jorge just died out of nowhere. With no warning. We must continue the fight, though. We, we cannot afford to stop. Having some, having some rough RNG this fight, aren't we? <laughs> what the heck? We have done it. We have made it far enough. We have done enough damage. Sometimes it feels... Excuse me. Uh, sometimes it feels in this fight that it goes it goes way too long. It's, it's really, though, you just have to do damage. That's the only way I found to advance this one. Until Pokey pops back up to, you know, laugh at you some more. We're not making a whole lot of progress against the embodiment of evil. Isn't it great? It's fear. It's real fear. Pure, unadulterated fear. It's all I've ever wanted. Pokey actually kind of taunting us a bit, telling telling us, yeah, you, I know, you, you have telepathy, you've used it many times to save your asses, but it's not going to save you this time. We'll see about that. Nope. Paulo, do your thing. Meanwhile, back at Saturn Valley, scientists bring the second phase distorter, the one that doesn't travel through time. They bring it back and realize they haven't gotten back yet. And they're worried. 
everyone started praying. Also, Jorge died. Well, Jorge's dead. I mean, people have been mentioning Lisa, but but Jorgensen did say that the tone shift at the end of this game is is a, was a big influence on Lisa, and it's def it's definitely present. It, I don't think anyone will look at those two games and say, "Nah, this one did not influence that one." <laughs> Fifty-one damage. Well, it's not great. It's not great, but maybe. Oh no! Getting kind of tense. I don't know if I'm going to be able to maintain the prayer train here. Uh, if you haven't figured it out, we're just going to have to keep doing this until... until victory. Uh, I may need to try and bring someone back up. Getting better. I remember reading in something with Itoi that that Pokey's parents are just meant to be real garbage people and I think that that definitely comes across in the English Yeah, as a child, Itoi walked into a theater and saw some sort of sexually explicit scene that it seemed it, it seems like it wasn't explicitly uh, uh, a forced thing, but it affected him as a kid. It was it imparted a certain feeling in him that he used to well. Those feelings were kind of the bedrock of, of this, these, these backgrounds, the, this Gigas scene, is my understanding. Almost 400 damage. Starting to get up there. That way. Mm. 
Well, <laughs> so much for that. Yeah, they also kind of played off the stuff with Pokey's parents. They almost they played it off like jokingly, like, "Oh, haha, ha, they're they're kind of crappy people and probably not great parents." But there's not a whole lot you can infer from the little that you see. Even Frank back home and on it is praying for us, helping us do a significant amount of damage. Why was the... Why did the door sound happen and then the dog came in? The dog... Who let the dog in? The, uh, never mind. Mom is praying for us. Thanks, Mom. He's becoming rather unstable. It's becoming rather difficult to even see the screen. But still, we know the command. Besides, you know, prevent death. Yeah, the bitrate's not gonna appreciate this at all. can't think of any more people. Oh god, can Paulo still pray? Oh, so Rango is dead again. Ka, prayed for the kids, having never even met them before. Yes, there you go. De seeked, kept praying. That's a lot of damage. Vo stream chat, <laughs> kept praying. Fod stream chat kept praying. I really like this part. This where you kind of finally start. Did I do it? Is that it? Now it's going to seem like I'm running away. But I'll see you next time, right? Right? Bye, Pokey.
Yeah, the last thing that Pokey says to you, who do you think's the cool guy now? Like, that's what you were, is that what you were concerned about this whole time? Our robot bodies were exposed from the meat cave. Is that even a word? Did I just make up a word? Our brains need to go back through time to the future, to the future 10,000 years, uh, you know, away from where Gigas is. So they can inhabit our bodies once more. Well, I'm sure this adventure will help me run my country someday. I I think. Mr. Saturn is here, too. Sure. There's a bit of a slowdown here. <laughs> this guy's got it all figured out. By the way, I wasn't going to tell you guys, but you had almost no chance of success. Courage. Was scared. Now KO. I strong. Boing. Breathe is so good. gonna bring back some magic tart some psi caramel some some brain some food yeah special jerky Thank you. 
Don't show this letter to anyone! Or hey, look at this letter. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, you saw that, huh? Zoom. Well, here's something kind of neat. We can go anywhere. Let's, uh, let's go to Foresight. Let's go to the big city. So I think a lot of the dialogue in the game is changed now. Can we go back to the dinosaur museum? Mr. Spoon, do you still stalk celebrities? <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Spoon. Kind of curious if uh, there's anyone in the cafe. Well, I mean, I'm sure there. See what anyone says in the cafe. Oh, wait, no, it's the hotel, and then up the street is the cafe. <laughs> Good. Nice. I didn't... I did not actually know that he was in here. I just kind of wanted to come here. <laughs> Don't tell my wife that I'm three towns over in the big city getting drunk in the shittiest bar I can find. Anyone back here? No. That's really neat that he shows up somewhere, that he's somewhere in the world. Can we go back to the Stoic Club? I'm glad you asked. the lazy cowpoke stop and go <laughs> yeah we're a new truck stop we just opened oh no that place is gone that place is long gone so there you have it <laughs> also I wonder if you can actually maybe if I uh I wonder if we can go to... Let me uh, activate my turbo here and we'll go to the Monotoli building. Yeah, solitaire guy is still here. Oh, there's Monotoli. Oh, that's right. I remember this. Mr. Enrich Flavor. <laughs> oh. He's an elevator guy. 
And he's happy. He's happy that we're happy. What a nice guy. Where else can we go? I have a magic tart. Were you just, just going to give me one? Hmm. They did not change... Yeah, okay. They did not change the sign, but... It is a new establishment. I wonder. Let's see. Let's talk to the uh, the sailor. Sure, let's go on a boat ride. <laughs> hey, you want to go to, like, you know, some European beach town and then go on a boat trip and then, you know, teleport back home later? Okay, sure, sounds good. I'm glad we can take a boat trip. Oh my god, are there developments with the black and white sesame seeds? Now I need to check. I need to go check. Thanks. Thanks a bunch for, for derailing me, I say, on an unnecessary boat trip. <laughs> are you seriously having this? Oh my god. Did you forget last time this happened? The exact same thing you did to us last time. Alright. No, I don't think there's going to be another Kraken fight. I don't think we can check in on Dungeon Man. Cause uh because he's on the other side of the the other side of the whatchamacallit. Four side. Wow. Yeah, we need to go to the desert now. Also, pretty sure all the monsters are gone from the world. <laughs> How disappointing. 
It was just carbon. There you are. Nah, that's the same one. Here, let's teleport across the desert. there's anywhere you can find the Runaway 5. Not that I know of. They're not in Summers. Shops are still open. Nope, Ever Dread is not here. Okay, bye. Finally, we're free. We can finally ride a bike again. Actually, yeah, Is does Orange Kid say anything? Let's go check on him real quick. I mean, we don't really need it. Orange Kid is working extremely hard on undoing egg cooking. Hang on. Escargo Express is currently unavailable. We'll never have that. We'll never ride that bike again. <laughs> yeah, you probably have to go to uh, to Tracy. That's fine. We're heading to on it anyway. We're gonna spirograph down the street. Finally back home. Frank's still there? 
No, Frank is not there. There he is. Hell yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Frank. I think you can return the town map too if you uh if you bring that back. Other dogs aren't quite as smart. Yes! Good! We borrowed money from this guy, like, last time we played. Oh, but I bumped into your dad and he paid the debt for you! <laughs> I love that. That just shows up at the very end of the game. By the way, I just want to let you know I found your dad out there in business land and he paid the debt that you owe. Wait a minute, you don't live here? <laughs> Mrs. Minch told me all about your family and how they're in debt. God, yeah, talk, talking about your neighbors like that, that is something I can absolutely... I, I, I've had neighbors or, or friends that talk about their neighbors like that. Concerned about all the petty details of their lives, how well they're doing financially. didn't occur to me last time as as a child that did not occur to me i guess picky i'm sorry your family is uh weird oh i think it seems like a really normal kid Check on Mr. Exaggerate, actually, before we end all this. One more run up the hill. Meteorite still there? Good. Good. Plus, I saw a host and, and auto host from Loon and Doc. Thank you. Thanks for that. Space Rock is still on fire.
How you doing? <laughs> Thanks, neighbor. Well, guys, I think that concludes our adventure here in Earthbound, here in suburban America. Really cool that this game lets you run around as much as you want and talk to everyone again. And there's a pretty good amount of new dialogue. Not everywhere, but it's enough. You can also bring Paulo home with you. She kind of just stands around. She doesn't say anything. She's just awkward. Just, why did you bring me here? Did you finish doing everything? Yeah. Thanks for asking. You did so well. Hi, Tracy. Also, yeah, Paula will just be standing there, it walking in place. Well, time to roll the credits. See all the characters in this game one more time. I also like how we get a Runaway 5 kind of version of a lot of the themes in the game. The credits in these games are always really well done because they they always go back over all the little lead motifs. All those all those little hooks that you heard over and over again in your head, they come back one last time. Also, jeez, I see a bunch of auto hooks going on here. why all that's popping up now. Of course, Pokey appears next to all the characters he was subtly influencing on his way up the invisible, you know, alien overlord ladder until he ends up next to Gigas at the very end. Mr. Saturn, who held the powers of time travel. Weird. Didn't see that one coming. Oh, it's Gerardo, not Geraldo. Yeah, there he is. He's Star Master. I knew that was his name. Love how Dungeon Man just appears on the screen. You can't scroll him on, really.
Just reiterating that your dad is literally a phone and does not have a human body. Now it's finally time to look back at our adventure, at our photo book that we made. Yep, that's me, in front of my house. <laughs> oh, my- okay, so that picture is showing up second. That's- it's in- area order, I guess. Interesting. Even though we bought that house way later in our adventure. <laughs> That's me inside my house that I bought with my money. There's Iwata up top on the programmer list. There we are in our first dungeon. Jorge's first dungeon. Oh, look at us around the black sesame seed. About to get killed by an orb and a scorpion and some desert beast. I also really like that Shigisato okay, Itoi, because that was the sound effect they used for him. I think the sample that they used for Venus's voice was a sound effect that someone made. Thanks for your follow. Fantastic playthrough. Glad I got to see the ending. Thanks for the bits, Mooniversal. That guy Marcus Lindblom showed up a lot in the credits, right? I feel like I've seen him at least two or three times.
<laughs> Here, go buy yourself some Delicus Gorp. Delicus Gorp. Thank you, Blastazard, for the bits. Also, thanks VOD Stream Chef for praying at the appropriate time so that I was able to beat the game. It was all thanks to you guys. Okay, I know there's a post credit. Thanks for the playthrough of Earthbound, Vod. Always a joy to see. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. And also thanks, Dad, for calling us. Dad, it's like three... <laughs> Thank you for the resub. Our dad is calling us at uh, during the post credit stinger dad please i i am in bed dad i was in bed you woke me up also something else woke me up there's a knock at the door dad please i've already saved the world Great playthrough. I loved it. Thanks, Anana Bear. A letter arrived from my brother Pokey. It is, a re it is addressed to Juan. There's no stamp, and it's not time for the mailman to come. Come and get me, loser. Spankity, spankity, spankity. Huh. I wonder where my brother went. Question mark? And then we waited, what, 13 years? That's about how long it took. But that's Earthbound, guys. Thank you for joining me. That was a lot of fun. Coming up, Mother 3. 13 years later, or however long it took to get translated. We'll see you then. <laughs>